Funny or Die is a comedy video website and film slash television production company founded by Will Ferrell, Adam McKay, Mark Kwame, and Chris Henschey. The website Funny or Die contains exclusive material from a regular staff of in-house writers, producers, and directors, and occasionally from a number of famous contributors including Judd Apatow, James Franco, and Norm MacDonald. The production company makes TV shows including True TV's Billy on the Street, Comedy Central's At Midnight, and Zach Galifianakis' Emmy-winning web series Between Two Ferns. Many videos on the site feature well-known actors. Examples include Nina Donrev, Steve Carell, Charlie Sheen, Ryan Gosling, Patrick Stewart, Daniel Radcliffe, Sophia Bush, Mila Kunis, Anna Sophia Rock, Hilary Duff, Adam West, James Van Der Beek, Jim Carrey, Ariel Winter, and Selena Gomez. Michael Kwame, an aspiring young comedian who was also the son of Mark Kwame, the venture capitalist who funded Funny or Die, came up with a concept for a new kind of comedy site, and the site was developed by Randy Adams. After the site was funded by his father, Michael Kwame would go on to write a screenplay for Will Ferrell and found Globally Sports Resources in partnership with the Saudi Arabian Federation of Electronic and Intellectual Sports. Funny or Die launched on April 12, 2007, with the site's first video, The Landlord. The Landlord has received over 84 million views and features Farrell confronted by a swearing, beer-drinking two-year-old landlord. In June 2007, they received venture capital funding from Sequoia Capital, and in June 2008, they announced a partnership with HBO. On August 3, 2016, Funny or Die shut down one of its California offices, reducing its headcount by 30% to 95 employees, with the announcement coming just two months after the new CEO, Mike Farah took office. Unlike other viral video sites, members of Funny or Die are encouraged to vote on videos which they view, with the options of Funny or Die. The video then gets a score of the total percentage of people who vote at the video funny. If the video receives an 80% or greater funny rating after 100,000 views, it gets an immortal ranking. If the video receives a 20% or less funny rating after 1,000 views, it is relegated to the crypt section of the site. The Funny or Die staff can also select a rating of Chosen One, which disables voting for a video, merely saying Chosen One instead. Funny or Die expanded to include a television and film production company in 2011. Between Two Ferns with Zach Galifianakis is an Emmy award-winning comedy series featured on Funny or Die. Galifianakis interviews various celebrities on a low-budget set, decorated by a pair of potted ferns. The series often involves interruptions for product promotions and musical guests. The Lonely Island's Spring Break Anthem music video was embedded into an episode with James Franco and featured actor Edward Norton. Galifianakis has interviewed the likes of Brad Pitt, Justin Bieber, Jennifer Lawrence, Samuel L. Jackson, Richard Branson, and President Barack Obama. Galifianakis interviewed President Barack Obama during the launch of the United States Health Insurance Exchange website. The video was released on March 11th. 2014 and garnered over 32 million views. Funny or Die's Billy on the Street is a half-hour comedy game show hosted by Billy Eichner. The show's producers include Anna Wenger, Mike Farah, and Billy Eichner. Billy on the Street premiered on Fuse TV on December 18, 2011. On October 8, 2015 the show began airing on True TV. Eichner quizzes people on the streets of New York on pop culture in exchange for cash and prizes. Many episodes feature a special guest and celebrities Lindsay Lohan, Anne Hathaway, Neil Patrick Harris, and Olivia Wilde have made appearances on the show. In 2013, Eitner received a Daytime Emmy Award nomination for Outstanding Game Show Host. The series wrapped its third season on May 14, 2014. Drunk History is a comedy series on Comedy Central that was released on Funny or Die in December 2007. The show originated as a web series created by Derek Waters and Jeremy Connor. The show features a drunken narrator who attempts to recount an event from American history. The actors are played by celebrity guest stars who lip sync the narrator's dialogue. Due to their general drunkenness, the narrators are unable to accurately discuss the historical events and oftentimes make up and embellish aspects of the story. Guests include Jack Black, Michael Sarah, Bill Hader, Nick Offerman, Winona Ryder, Chris Parnell, Kristen Wiig. Luke Wilson, and Jason Schwartzman. Gay of Thrones is a comedy web series hosted by Jonathan Van Ness in which he and a guest recap the most recent episode of Game of Thrones in Van Ness' hair salon. Its first episode, 
recapping the first two episodes of season three of Game of Thrones, was released in April 2013 and has covered each episode from then until the finale in May 2019. Guests have included Alfie Allen, Tiffany Haddish, Kumail Nanjiani and Lena Headey. At Midnight is a late-night comedy panel show hosted by Chris Hardwick and produced by Funny or Die. The show debuted on Comedy Central on October 21, 2013. The show features three guest comedians that respond to different social media postings and pop culture references of the day including responses to actual tweets on Twitter, Craigslist ad postings and comments on Reddit at Midnight used social media as a platform to engage with their fans. The show created hashtags including hashtag hashtag wars and hashtag spooky celebs that were used by fans to submit their own responses to the game on Twitter. The Spoils of Babylon is a comedy miniseries that aired on January 9, 2014 on IFC. The show was created and written by former Saturday Night Live writers Matt Piedmont and Andrew Steele. Piedmont also directed the series. The series stars Will Ferrell, Kristen Wiig, Toby Maguire, Jessica Alba, Haley Joel Osment, Tim Robbins, Michael Sheen, Carrie Mulligan, and Val Kilmer. Farrell plays Eric John Roche, a fictional author whose novel is being adapted for TV. The Spoils of Babylon novel follows a wealthy oil tycoon's family, the Morehouses. Robbins plays Jonas Morehouse, the patriarch of the family. Wig and McGuire play Cynthia and her adopted brother Devin. IFC and Funny or Die adapted John Roche's first novel, The Spoils Before Dying into another miniseries, which aired on July 8. 2015. Throwing Shade is a podcast hosted by Aaron Gibson and Brian Safi that addresses topics such as mainstream pop culture, women's rights, and gay rights. In 2011 Gibson and Safi created the Throwing Shade podcast after Infomania was cancelled and in 2013 Funny or Die began filming the podcast on a set and airing the recordings of the podcast on its website. The podcast occasionally has famous guests including Cheyenne Jackson and Dustin Lance Black. Throwing Shade won a podcast award for Best GLBT Podcast in both 2012 and 2013. The duo have recorded 80 videos since signing on with Funny or Die. Tween Fest is an eight episode Funny or Die series starring John Michael Higgins, Joey King, Drew Tarver, Arden Cho, and Lou Wilson that follows a two weekend outdoor festival in the middle of the desert where all the acts are internet stars. The show launched on August 3, 2016, on the streaming service Go90. Between Fest was created by Nixie Arelli and Brad Evans, was directed by Scott Gardner, and features Jane Lynch, Tim Meadows, Chris Parnell, David Koechner, Dave, Gruber, Alan, Josh Fadum, and more in supporting and guest starring roles. Funny or Die presents, 2010-2011, HBO. John Benjamin has a van, 2011, Comedy Central. Brody Stevens, Enjoy It, 2013, Comedy Central. American Muscle, 2014, Discovery. Funny or Die Presence, America's Next Weatherman, 2015, TBS. The Gorberger Show, 2015, HBO, 2017, Comedy Central. The Chris Get Hard Show, 2015 to 2018, True TV. Brock Meyer, 2017 to 2020, IFC. What's going on? With Mike Mitchell. 2011, FX. A 2012 special aired on Comedy Central with Zach Galifianakis. On November 23, 2013, HBO presented a special in association with Funny or Die titled, Sarah Silverman, We Are Miracles featuring stand-up by comedian Sarah Silverman. During her hour-long set, Silverman made jokes about rape, religion, and her personal insecurities. The special received a 2014 Emmy Award nomination for Outstanding Variety Special, and Silverman's writing earned her an Emmy win for Outstanding Writing for a Variety Special. Record label Sub Pop went on to release the special on vinyl, CD, and through digital download. Funny or Die produced a special featuring comedian Jared Carmichael for HBO, which aired on October 4, 2014. During the 70-minute special, Carmichael covers topics including poverty and wealth, controversial artists, female empowerment, and crime and race. Jared Carmichael, Love at the Store, was directed by Spike Lee and was filmed at the Comedy Store in Los Angeles. Carmichael chose the location because it was the first venue he performed in back in 2008. Funny or Die produced a comedy special for HBO featuring comedian Tig Notaro. Tig Notaro 
Boyish Girl Interrupted premiered on HBO on August 22, 2015. Notaro promoted the special by walking the streets of Los Angeles to bring awareness to a giant billboard of her face. During the HBO special, Notaro talks about her breast cancer diagnosis, her breakup with her girlfriend, and the death of her mother. Notaro performs the final third of her set topless to expose the scars of her mastectomy to the audience. A 2015 special aired on HBO with Will Ferrell. Tim and Eric's Billion Dollar Movie, 2012, co production with Absolutely Productions. I Steve, 2013, released online via Funny or Die. Donald Trump's The Art of the Deal, The Movie, 2016, released online via Funny or Die. Between Two Ferns, The Movie, 2019, released online on September 20, 2019, via Netflix. Impractical Jokers, The Movie, 2020, release in theaters, the movie will follow the four lifelong friends of Joe Gatto, James Murmurry, Salvatore Sal Volcano, and Brian Q. Quinn from the hit TV show of Impractical Jokers. The movie was announced on March 7, 2018 when the Impractical Jokers got renewed for a season 8. The movie began production in the end of April 2018. The movie is expected to release between 2019 to 2020. In June 2008, HBO and Funny or Die announced that HBO had purchased a stake of less than 10% in Funny or Die. With this, Funny or Die will be responsible for developing at least 10 half-hour episodes for HBO, and the companies may organize future comedy tours together. Regarding the agreement, Will Ferrell said, I don't want to overstate the importance of this deal, but this is the missing link moment where TV and internet finally merge. It will change the way we as human beings perceive and interact with reality. Okay. I overstated it. But it is an exciting deal. In August 2008, Funny or Die hired Andrew Steele, a 12-year veteran of Saturday Night Live, and one of three head writers in recent years, to oversee content production and development for the site and for the HBO partnership. In February 2008, Funny or Die launched Will Ferrell's Funny or Die comedy tour presented by Semi-Pro, in conjunction with the promotion of the movie Semi-Pro. The tour featured Ferrell, Members of the FOD team and comedians Jack Galifianakis, Dimitri Martin, Nick Swartzen, and Andrea Savage. Adam McKay and Will Arnett served as tour announcers. The Eight City Tour hit college campuses in Kansas, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, North Carolina, and New York. The tour ran February 4 to 24, 2008. In June 2013 Funny or Die announced the Abnal Comedy and Curiosity Festival Comedy Tour partnered with Line Nation. The tour was headlined by Dave Chappelle and Flight of the Concords. The lineup also included Al Madrigal, Kristen Schaal, Brody Stevens, Dimitri Martin, John Mulaney, Jim Jeffries, and Hannibal Burris. The tour ran August 23 to September 22, 2013. In 2014, Funny or Die continued the Oddball Festival touring 20 cities across the U.S. from August 8 to September 21. The tour featured comedians Louis C.K., Sarah Silverman, Aziz Ansari, Chris Hardwick, Amy Schumer, and Jim Gaffigan. The 2015 lineup included Amy Schumer, Aziz Ansari, Anthony Jeselnik, Ashley Barnhill, Bridget Everett, Dave Attell, John L. Rawlings, Jack Knight, Jay Farrow, Jeff Ross, Jim Norton, John Mulaney, Catherine Ryan, Mark Normand, Mike Ulcha, Nick Kroll, Nick Thune, Nikki Glaser, Rachel Feinstein, Rory Scovel, Sebastian Maniscalco, Steve Ranazisi, T.J. Miller, Tim Minchin, Todd Berry, and Tony Hinchcliffe. The tour ran August 28 to October 18. 2015. Funny or Die curated a comedy lineup for the 2015 Treasure Island Music Festival in San Francisco, California. The Funny or Die Blah 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 10 featured comedy acts from Tim Heidecker, Jared Carmichael, Jonah Raid, Chris Gidhard, John Doerr, Lauren Latkus, Brian Safia and Aaron Gibson, Kate Berlin and John Early, Guy Branham, Michelle Wolf, Max Silvestri, Barry Rothbart, and Jermaine Fowler. Although ostensibly independent of organized politics, site creators Farrell and McKay are supporters of the Democratic Party and have personal politics that tend to lean a little left. In addition to their well-known March 2014 foray in support of the Affordable Care Act, the previous year Funny or Die launched a campaign for the legal defense of Shazan Kasim, a Minnesota resident who was jailed in Abu Dhabi for allegedly endangering national security by posting a parody video to YouTube.
Comedians Patton Oswalt and Tony Hale were subsequently made part of Funny or Die's effort to raise funds and awareness to free Shays. Originally sentenced to a year in prison, in the face of growing public pressure Kasim was released in January 2014 after serving nine months of his sentence. Funny or Die has also been responsible for creation of parody videos lampooning California's 2008 traditional marriage initiative, Proposition 8 and taking a pot shot at the National Rifle Association with a video featuring comedian Jim Carrey. The site also worked with television star Alyssa Milano to leak a purported sex tape of the actress which was in fact an awareness-raising video on the bloody Syrian civil war. In July 2013, shortly after the National Security Agency's PRISM surveillance program was first publicized, Sasha Gray starred in a funny or die sexy NSA commercial. On March 11, 2014, Zach Galifianakis interviewed Barack Obama on his show Between Two Ferns with Zach Galifianakis on the website. During the interview, they asked people to sign up for healthcare on the healthcare.gov site as part of the Affordable Care Act. By the next day, 11 million viewers had watched the video, and more than 890,000 people viewed the website during just that morning. On February 16, 2015, the First Lady of the United States, Michelle Obama, teamed up with Billy Eichner and Big Bird to promote her health initiative called Eat Brighter. In the episode the trio joined together at a grocery store in Washington, D.C. to play a game titled Ariana Grande or Eating a Carrot. Michelle Obama made an appearance in a Funny or Die movie trailer for Snackpocalypse which was featured on September 2, 2014. The trailer described the events that led to the elimination of a teenage population due to pure food choices offered at their high school. Michelle Obama's Let's Move Campaign supports healthy eating in youth and adults and she appears in the video crunching on a carrot. Mary Poppins quits with Kristen Bell was featured on Funny or Die on July 23, 2014. In the video Mary Poppins played by Kristen Bell sings about increasing minimum wage in order to meet living wage standards. Modern Office with Christina Hendricks was published on August 6, 2014. Christina Hendricks who plays fictional character Joan Harris on AMC's Mad Men gets a new job in a modern office. Hendricks transports her character from the 1960s into a modern office environment. The video insinuates that modern office environments maintain antiquated policies regarding women's roles in the workplace. Funny or Die launched a campaign for the legal defense of Shazan Kasim a Minnesota resident who was jailed in Abu Dhabi for allegedly endangering national security by posting a parody video to YouTube. Comedians Patton Oswalt and Tony Hale were subsequently made part of Funny or Die's effort to raise funds and awareness to free Shays. Originally sentenced to a year in prison, in the face of growing public pressure Kasim was released in January 2014 after serving nine months of his sentence. In March 2013, Funny or Die created the video, Cold Dead Hand starring Jim Carrey as both a country singer and former NRA president, Charles Heston. In the video, Carrey is joined by singers portraying Mahatma Gandhi, Abraham Lincoln, and John Lennon, all of whom were assassinated by gunmen, as they perform on Hee Haw, the 1970s CBS variety show. Funny or Die posted various videos showing concern over the Trump administration's activities. On March 2, 2014, Two promotional videos were released on a YouTube channel supposedly controlled by HUVR Tech, a company claiming to have invented a hoverboard much like those in the Back to the Future film trilogy. The videos included demonstrations of the board by celebrities such as Tony Hawk and Moby. Two days later the project was revealed to be a hoax perpetrated by Funny or Die, after the video's costume designer posted the experience on her online resume.